Digital Farm on the ones and twos, bring it down. Five minutes to the top of the hour. We still have in studio with us Julie Wangombe telling us exactly how she came about to being uh, one of the youngest, biggest poets in the country. How, how has it been since, you know, your name came out and now people know about, you know, you wrote the victory speech. How, how has it been? Uh, well, my friends list has <laughs> widened, widened, you know, exponentially, um, and uh, um, but it's been it's been nice, um, especially getting such encouraging feedback and encouraging messages, and um, yeah, um, it's 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 odd getting stopped <laughs> like yeah. on the street and stuff. Yeah, that's a bit awkward sometimes. <laughs> and do you have any particular authors or poets indeed who inspire you? Mm. Superstar. Are you Superstar. Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's, 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 there's a few spoken word artists who um, really inspire me. Like one is um, Genetics. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen her on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, she really... She is really inspiring, and um, I like Lauren Hill. All right. Yeah. That's uh, that's very nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, one gosh two five four in on Twitter says uh, that he's just added you to his list of role models for doing big things at a very young age. Uh, do you find that there's a lot of that, like a lot of young people who are looking up to you suddenly now that you've written this speech? Uh Y yeah. <laughs> and what would you say to them? Ooh, um, I would say, well, I would say that in terms of inspiring them. <laughs> or uh, to motivate them. To motivate them. Um, I would say, be like, like one of the advices I'd give young people is to, to read a lot mm -hmm. and read widely. Mm -hmm. And, um, also, just, um, just I, I, like, don't be scared. Like, don't be scared to do whatever it is you're doing. Um, like, for me, I used to have, like, insanely bad uh, stage fright. And, you know, like, I, I'd be scared to put my work out there because of, you know, that, that's up until very recently. <laughs> One should hope. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and, you know, I'd always put it out there with disclaimers and stuff like that. But it's cool. I mean, we're all growing and stuff like that. And, and, and when you put it out there, you kind of, the feedback you get is useful and it, 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 it'll help you grow. So we're all human. So mm. don't be scared. <laughs> what, what's next for Julie? Uh, what's next for, well, I have a class this morning. <laughs> Damn it, we, we, we made someone lose their... Renee, it we, wasn't are me. we are parents, we should know better. Yeah, can I just say, it wasn't me, I wasn't uh, here. Uh, uh, Damn it, uh, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> but what's, what's next? Um, well, I hope to... Right now, my big focus is really finishing my undergraduate degree um, and hopefully maybe continuing with education a little further. Yeah, and then uh, I'm also launching my spoken word album this year mm -hmm. so yeah beyond that we we're taking life as it comes so we can't let you come out of studio without at least mm -hmm. one a line or mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. already on Twitter you're getting requests um, Ken saying let her do an introduction to Africa well t I'll tell you what mm -hmm. you pick one that you'd like to do something that really speaks to you mm -hmm. that you've done and uh, give us a bit of a sample if you wouldn't mind. All right. Ooh, pressure. Here goes. Nam, <laughs> it's just us in studio. Nobody's listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Shush, you're not helping, Joe. Oh, okay. oh, dear. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you, Shuli Wangombe. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a piece that I wrote. Uh, this is one of the first pieces that I actually wrote. Um, and hopefully it'll come to define my life at some point. So I've decided that I am going to live my life like it is poetry, where abstract. It is seen as normality and there is no conformity and changing the world. It is never a possibility, always certainty. 
because if nothing else at least I can change the world around me so I want to be free to live life rhythmically if I so please and free to choose not to have a precisely even rhythm to live by just as long as I can still live dancing as long as I can flow like I have a liquid anatomy, a liquid anatomy, a liquid anatomy. And repeat, those valuable things I love as often as I please, though they may not exactly be completely cohesive or understandable to say the least, just as long as they make sense to me. Okay, and maybe one other person, because poetry should at least make sense to one other person and I'm going to live without time for mediocrity because see poets they have a great responsibility to live expressively and a base narrow thinking for wider possibility and open bound minds to be free and blind eyes to see and promote objectivity but similarly still having a strong mind to what you believe and I will live like I really do have to put all I am into the next three minutes because life, it is the longest short thing you have. But at the same time, I will live in hope of tomorrow and I will borrow future laughter to ease present sorrow. And I will live without imitation. Just fashionably me because you see that trend, it does not change seasonally. It is always, always in. And I will live singing. Like, carry your candle and run to the darkness. Because there is a world to light. Because there is poverty and inequality and generally real terrorists to fight. Because there are social and economic issues to address. Because there's still so many deep emotions I need to confess. Because there are unborn children that we need to protect. Because there's idiotic ideologies we have got to dissect. Because there are oppressed voices that we have to resurrect. Because there is political change that we need to affect. Because there are wars to start. And there is peace to keep. And there are uncried tears we are yet to weep, so I will live my life deep. Because sometimes words, they don't express how I feel, and sometimes they even steal from the poetry that is in me. So I'm thinking that as well as speaking, maybe I could also just let my life be like poetry. Oh my god! That was absolutely amazing! What what that what, wow! What what what's that piece called? It's called like poetry. And and is it wow. in the CD? It will be, it will be. When and, can we uh, expect it? And uh it, it it'll it, i think it's um within the next maybe two weeks you should be seeing it online. Well we'll 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 play it here first. <laughs> But absolutely, it's such an honor to have you in the studio with us. Thank you so very much for making time for us. As people are chanting, uh, this is Odiambo, who says, Owangombe for president, uh, <laughs> chanting their love. And, and where, if you wanted to get the album, of course, where would we go? And if we wanted to see you perform, where would we go? Um, I would suggest you keep it on my Twitter and I will... <laughs> update. I'll update. That's Juliet Wangombe, right? Yeah. On Twitter. Julie. 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 Yeah, Julie Wangombe. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for, Thank you for blessing us with your presence. <laughs> it's been an honor. It's been absolutely amazing. Live my life like liquid. Indeed. I'm done. Flowing. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Uh, we come back in the next hour. We have more music right here in 984 in the morning with Renee and Matt Ball. I see what you're doing. We... <laughs> flow together as <laughs> one one thank you <laughs>